This next item of interest is especially useful for you Aries operators that are going to be doing electrical work while the power is out. So this is what you need. You'll need some pliers, a drill bit, electrical tape, a lighter, and some wire. 14 gauge is about the best size. Okay, so step one for the lighter. Uh, soldering iron here is to take out some wire. What you're going to do is put it so there's about that much slack coming off the end, maybe a little bit less, and then coil it around eight times like this. Do that eight times. Then take this spring that you've made with eight coils, compress it together, make it look nice and neat. You want this drill bit to be a little bit smaller than the hole in your lighter. Okay. Do that, and then cut off about an extra three inches off the end of the coil. Then you're going to take and do like what I've done here. Bend it up and bend a small loop in the copper wire. And that's going to make the little soldering tip. The spring's here. Then put a small band like this and leave this three inches coming out. What this is for is so that you can take this and put it on your lighter just like that. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. Alright, so we've wrapped the tape around and ha have this copper held solidly in place. Now we're going to show you what it's useful for. So, we used our wire strippers to bend the loop, tape to hold it on, etc. Now you just need a good example of what we need to do. You can see how the flame is only at the top part because the coil has channeled that fuel up through and it's only heating up the top part. And now our wires fastened together. And there is a perfectly free, makeshift, fully functioning soldering iron. Now I gotta get something to clean this up. Easy removal. And this last idea is a useful repurpose for one of these. We've all had them, um, the little stands that come with the soldering guns. You know, the ones you get and you think, How does this thing even work? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh boy. So here's something you can reuse it for. And I don't know how I thought of this. Um, I kind of refabricated something I got from one of the Hints and Kings articles several months ago in the QST. Uh, kind of gave me the idea. I said, hey, I'd like to do that. And figured I didn't want to buy anything. So I just went with this. And it was just laying there one day. And I said, hey, this would work perfectly for that. So, I'll show you what that idea is. So what is this next idea, and why are you seeing the edge of my ham shack? That's because of what it is. Take this. Now, what does this accomplish? Convenient microphone holder for my Yesu handheld microphone. And when I'm down here in the low operating chair uh, on the uh, MOX button, I can very conveniently uh, just turn that on. And if I raise my voice a little bit, uh, it'll still pick me up just fine. I can just turn the microphone gain up a little bit. 
and sitting at the low desk I can still uh, do something here on the workshelf and be able to talk at the same time. And then of course if your radio has mobile mounting bracket screws you can just unscrew it and then take this Stick this through and screw it back on, and you've got a little PTT uh, holder for your microphone there. Alrighty, so there you have it. Three simple things you can make at pretty much any time that can help you in the ham shack. You've got the closed pin wire stripper, the lighter soldering iron, and the soldering iron stand PTT microphone holder. 73's God bless and good DX. We'll see you next week. So, here's the idea. Ooh, error.